What's going on gamers? This is DBM Gamer here. And today I've got the Bungie News update along with the new location of Xur and of course what he's packing this weekend. All that and we'll also discuss some certain issues with a certain troll in the tower known as Master Rahul the Crypt Dark. But before we can get into any of that, I have to get to my shoutouts. My shoutouts is how I show appreciation back to the community that has gotten me this far. And I want to give a shout out to Jimmy Brown. Eric Brown, LGS Zano, Aiden Lee, Kim TV, Jinxed Billy for Life, Ashley Atkinson, Fez Channel, Riley Anderson, and Sean Dinsmore. Alright guys, well as you can see, as soon as you spawn in the tower, just head straight down to where the vanguards are, and you can catch him off to the right side. Uh, this week he's packing a new exotic weapon known as Red Death, the Pulse Rifle. Now, Pulse Rifles aren't really my bag. Uh, but if you're into a pulse rifle, this one's pretty good to have. This one actually heals you as it kills enemies, so that's pretty good. Uh, but as for me, uh, all I've really wanted since the first time Zer showed up in the tower and I did not have the coins to give him, I wanted those sunbreakers. Now, if you're a regular on this channel, you happen to know that I like to do my bad news before I get to my kind of good and funny news, so uh, let's get right to that. Now, in the Bungie mail sack, someone made the comment of, they wanted Deej, the community manager, to address the rumors that are starting to be spread about Destiny. Now, I'm just going to read straight from the page here. We've seen a lot of theories about Bungie on the internet this week, and I understand why that stuff is compelling. The drama and the rumor mill is a symptom of a greater issue. We all want Destiny to be better. Uh, the problem is that sifting through all the gossip in search of the truth doesn't bring us any closer to a stronger game. Now, one of the things that I pointed out in my previous video was that I'm a big fan of communities and community support. Now Deej went on to say that the launch of Destiny changed things for me at Bungie. Ever since you became a community, instead of the audience waiting for a game, I've been invited into a room where a dedicated team is talking exclusively about the next updates for Destiny. Through me, you have a seat at their table, and he'd rather spend time coming up with ideas for how to improve the game, and that there may come a time when we take a probing look back at the challenges we faced during the development of Destiny. But like I had said previously, I am very confident within Bungie, and I'm very confident that whatever the story of Destiny is, it will all come out. All we have to do is have patience, ladies and gentlemen. Now moving on to lighter topics, no longer will you give the Crypt Art your wonderful purple gem only to have him give you the blues. It was enough to make me take a flying leap off the tower. Yeah, that one's for you, Brit. Now the fact that the Crypt Dark almost seemed like he himself was the true darkness. With this new patch, you can go from nope to hope. So within the weekly update, they actually put a few images that I've seen, and then they put a few they weren't willing to show. Well, I actually happen to have those images. It seems that people were willing to do anything and everything to get that legendary piece of equipment that they needed to get the job done. Pun intended. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I got a uh, early morning tomorrow, so I'm just going to grab my box of uh, cereal, Captain Crunch of course, and I'll see you guys later. If you like this type of content, feel free to just drop a like or a comment, or if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. But as always, have a good one.